All right now to an action news investigation tonight. Small businesses and community organizations turned to a company to help them sell tickets to various events, but some of them say they haven't seen a dime. And action news reporter Brianna Smith was able to help one Philadelphia organizer get some answers. I had trusted the platform like many did in my shoes and thought that they would have my back and unfortunately they did not. Bianca Crespo, the owner of Santa Mira Studio in Kensington, is just one of thousands of event organizers who did not receive their revenue from brown paper tickets for more than a year. The Seattle based company is a low cost ticketing service that caters to small organizations like community theaters and nonprofits to sell their event tickets. It can be discouraging to artists, you know, and it's we're all independent artists and I feel it makes me sad that this has happened to us and we still don't have any answers. Crespo says the company owed her more than $7,000 from her ballet, The Governess, in October 2022. After countless calls and emails, she contacted Action News for assistance. Crespo says that's when Brown Paper Tickets emailed her about the payment and she finally saw it in her bank account on January 10th. However, others are still waiting, like Chris Davis from Point Breeze, who says the company owes him more than $1,600 from his one man Nutcracker performance in 2020. I used to swear by them, to be honest, because they had really low fees. Um, but after this, uh, no, I, I swear at them now because they haven't paid me. The Pennsylvania Attorney General's office says they received 33 complaints about brown paper tickets, but did not disclose the issues. In Washington, the AG's office actually sued the company in 2020, and they agreed to pay about $9 million to 45,000 event organizers and ticket buyers. After the lawsuit, the Washington AG's office says they received more than 500 complaints since March 2021. Meanwhile, Crespo says she compiled her own list. At least 21 victims and the total owed is $122,500. And $13.27. Action News gathered more complaints in the Stiffed by Brown Paper Tickets Facebook page with nearly 1,000 members. In 2022, Events.com, an event management platform, acquired Brown Paper Tickets. A company leader says he requested a report from Brown Paper Tickets to confirm these complaints and their scheduled payment dates. I feel like because we're such hardworking people to begin with, Nothing is going to stop us from finding out the truth. Events.com says brown paper tickets was hit hard by the pandemic and it's focused on providing the resources the company needs to finish paying customers. As they complete their final acquisition phase, they say they've already paid more than $42 million to organizers and by contract, they're required to fully pay any outstanding claims. Brown paper tickets said in a press release, quote, any remaining impacted event organizers will receive final payments between January 25th and March 31st, 2024. I hope they rectify this and make what was wrong right again. Organizers can still use brown paper tickets, but events.com says the events will be placed in a secured funds program and organizers will be paid within 10 days after the event. In Center City, Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News.